travelers, next up we'll be revealing the events coming in version 2.2. The first event on our list is called Labyrinth Warriors. Oh, okay. I'm seeing a theme here. The word <laughs> labyrinth was also in the title of the version trailer, so we know this will be an important event. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And the warriors part is straightforward enough. Seems we are getting some more combat in this event. Yep. In this event, we'll be entering a domain in Inazuma called the Mystic Onmyo Chamber. Joining us along the way will be a paper figure called Shiki Taisho, who will be providing some help to us throughout the adventure. Also making an appearance in the event storyline will be the 11th Fatui Harbinger Tartaglia, aka Child, as well as the resident rock star of Leah, Shinyan. Ah, oh, it's gonna be great to see them in the storyline, but I gotta say, what an interesting combination. <laughs> yeah, totally. And what's interesting, though, is that Child is the third Fatui Harbinger we've seen set foot in Inazuma. Given that the Fatui are not the most welcome guests in Inazuma, you can't help but wonder what he's doing there. Totally. Yeah, and I mean, the same for Shinyan, too. Yeah. What brings a rock star to Inazuma? I guess we'll have to wait until the upcoming version to find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in addition to the storyline, we'll also have new event gameplay. Let's dive into some of the details. All right. All right. As I mentioned before, we will be entering the bizarre and unpredictable domain that is the Mystic Onmyo Chamber. Monsters and hidden dangers await us there, and travelers will need to deploy two parties of characters before initiating the trial. A combat party and a support party. Luckily, we can use Shiki Taisho's charm magic to give us the upper hand. Travelers may select certain Shiki Fuda before entering the domain. These Shiki Fuda are like magic seals that will provide us with a variety of assistance while inside the domain. Some Shiki Fuda can summon spirits, some can create barriers, while others can buff the active character. After making all the necessary preparations, we'll be ready to face whatever waits for us in the domain. There are five levels in the Mystic Onmyo Chamber, and each level will have multiple rooms to explore. Random monsters will appear in the rooms, and travelers will randomly obtain different items after defeating the monsters, including Battered Shiki Fuda, Damage Replicas, and Age Tokens. Battered Shiki Fuda can be used to obtain buffs in the challenges, Damage Replicas can be used to enhance Shiki Taisho's abilities, and Age Tokens can be exchanged in the event shop for valuable rewards. Oh man! Wait. <laughs> Good stuff! For sure! Thanks for the breakdown! <laughs> Okay, so moving to our next event, Shadow of the Ancients. This event has to do with our new area, Surumi Island. During an investigation commission, the traveler happens to encounter a ruin grader with regenerative powers. Whoa. <laughs> Yikes. Whoa. Seems like the ruin grader has a special source of energy. Yes, and that's why we also call it an anomalous model ruin grader. In the event, our task will be to investigate this grader's regenerative powers. <sighs> if it's ancient machines we're dealing with, we'll definitely need a scholar or someone to guide us. Yup, you're right! In fact, we'll be pairing up with a scholar from Sumeru during this adventure. The event is divided oh. into three phases. First is investigative surveys. During this phase, the Sumeru scholar will give us a special kind of prospector gadget. Travelers will need to explore different areas with these prospectors in search of components to repair important ancient devices called Persina's Spikes. These devices can be used to cut the flow of power to the anomalous model ruin grader. The special prospectors we will be using are called Ayesha's Chaos Prospectors. When the target is out of range, it will point towards the approximate direction of the target. And once the target is within range, it will mark the location of the target for us. Travelers can place up to three prospectors at once. As soon as a fourth one is placed, the first prospector will be automatically retrieved. The survey sites span across Mondstadt, Liyue, and Inazuma. After we've collected all the necessary components, we can prepare Persina's spikes, which will then stop the Ruin Grader from regenerating. However, we still need to test whether these spikes are fixed before we get to confront the anomalous model Ruin Grader, which leads us to the second phase, Data sampling! <laughs> Man, this sounds like some legit research is happening. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> In this phase, we'll test the functionality of the spikes by recharging them. Once we start the challenge, we'll have to use electro attacks to activate Persina's spikes and continue charging them. Please note that the spikes will attract nearby opponents to come and attack them. And if the spikes are hit by an enemy, the spike's integrity will drop. If one spike's integrity drops to zero, then the challenge will fail. 
So be careful not to let the monsters damage the spikes. Okay, okay. And once we've collected enough data, we'll get to the third and final phase of the event, live testing. Yay! Wait, we're still testing even in the final phase? <laughs> well, let's say it's like an open beta. Travelers will have to charge all of Persina's spikes within the time limit to cut the anomalous model ruin grader off from its power source and finally defeat it. But note that if you defeat it before cutting off the power source, the ruin grader's self-repair mechanism will be triggered, which will then cause it to re-enter an active state. Oh, okay, okay, so let me get this straight. This thing will just keep regenerating over and over again? Unfortunately, yes. But the ruin grader's not invincible. Just like a normal Ruin Grader, we can attack the cores mounted on its head and legs to immobilize it, which will help us defeat it more effectively. Our next event to expect in version 2.2 is called Tuned to the World Sounds. Wow, that sounds poetic. Yeah, Yeah, it's because Kazuo is involved, obviously. <laughs> you know, because he has a poetic soul. Yeah, okay. <laughs> anyway, in this event, Kazuo will give us a floral zither, which we will use to perform music in the event. That's right, the rhythm game is coming back! All right. And this time, we get to be accompanied by another character when we perform in the event! Yes, that's so cool! <laughs> right? There are a total of seven characters that will play music with us. They are Ningguang, Zhongli, Kuching, Xiao, Kokomi, Ayaka, and the Raiden Shogun. Each character has their own song and performances will be split into normal, hard, and pro difficulties. Normal difficulty is unlocked by default, and travelers will need to complete the available difficulty with at least a Euphonia rating to unlock the subsequent difficulty level. Anyway, enough of me just talking about it. <laughs> Let's check out how the event looks in-game. Sounds great! Where to next? Oh boy. Pro. <laughs> Jumping right in, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, no. I, I, I've done this before. I'm, I'm good. Hey, is that A holding a liar? It. That's cool. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. But that is such a nice scenery to play. Oh, I know. It's beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> this pro difficulty it looks hard. But as you can see, uh, before travelers will need to press the rhythm points when the ring shrinks down to around each point and then they can score bonus points for timing consecutive rhythm points correctly. Ah, oh, gotcha, that's cool. Look at the long note. It's a new mechanic for this event. You should press and hold down the note until the light strip disappears to score. It does not look easy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, challenge accepted, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can, I can do it. <laughs> yes, can you, you can. Zach? Yes, you can, Zach. I, I believe in you. We'll have I to in you. wait and see. <laughs> oh, hey, the sound of the lyre is actually kind of different from the sound of our zither. This is so peaceful sounding. And then it is like all these successive notes all in a row. Yeah, imagine trying to hit all of those at the same time. I know. I'm imagining myself playing right now. I know, right? I'm so excited to give it a try. It's a pretty good score. <laughs> well, that's all we've got for the Tune to the World Sounds event. I hope all you travelers will enjoy playing music alongside your favorite characters. Next, we have another event called Dreams of Bloom. Ooh, fancy. Yeah. The event is initiated by an Inazuman florist named Sakuya. During the event, travelers can submit the materials Sakuya requests daily to obtain some special seeds from her. We can then plant these seeds in a Path of Value luxuriant glebe in the Serena teapot. After waiting for some time, the seeds will then grow into beautiful flowers called dream blooms, which is an amazing name, by the way. <laughs> I know, right? And, you know, it looks like we'll have multiple kinds of dream blooms. <laughs> That's right. Sakuya will prepare three different kinds of dream bloom seeds for us during the event. Star hibiscus seed, pear bell seed, and silk pod seed. 
What's special here is that even the same type of seed can grow into different colors. Yo, it's sort of like a mystery prize. <laughs> I yeah. know, right? Also, travelers will be able to send their flowers to each other. Isn't that exciting? Oh, that's so sweet. So we can send the flowers we already collected to our friends who might need them. Yep. That's cool. Yeah. In addition, the grown flowers can also be used as furnishings to decorate our realms. Once travelers have completed certain challenges, we can obtain Sakuya's special gardening package and choose one of the three flower stands that we prefer. We can also customize flower arrangements in our stands and make them into unique furnishings for ourselves. Hmm. It looks like we'll be seeing some customized flower stands appearing in our teapots. You bet! But please note that after the event ends, the flower seeds from this event will also disappear. So be sure to participate in the event before they're gone. I will! <laughs> <laughs> and besides all these events, we will also be seeing another return of the Leyline Overflow event. Yes! During the event, we will have three chances daily to collect double rewards from overflowing Blossoms of Wealth or Blossoms of Revelation. This event always makes things so much easier for leveling up your characters, right? <laughs> yeah, especially when you have a lot of characters to work on. Oh, I know. Tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's about all we have for the events in version 2.2. Now let's move on to some great updates coming to the Serena Teapot. Yay! In